I'm Peter Johnson. I'm the National Clinical Director for Cancer at NHS England. I think the way that we look at data in the NHS has evolved a lot over the last few years as we've had more sophisticated systems. And it's really helpful to have brought together all the different audits that we do, particularly in cancer, because this allows us to get a concentration of expertise and to make the most efficient use of the, all the different data sources that we draw on. This is about collaboration and coordination and bringing together the relevant expertise so that we can use people who understand cancer data across different tumour types to make the best and most efficient use of the information that we've got. I think historically um, this has grown out of particular clinical enthusiasts who've driven the setup of, of particular audits, often in the most common types of cancer, bowel cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer. What we'd like to do is focus much more on some of those cancers where we see there's room for improvement, where we know that the survival figures are not so good in something like pancreatic cancer, and where we think that there's big variations in treatment and to try and get into the detail of that. Of course, it's really important that decisions about people's health care are taken locally, taking into account their particular circumstances and how those populations see their health and how those services are provided. But even taking into account things like the case mix and the demographics and the deprivation, we do see that there's variation in the way that treatments are delivered and, of course, also in the outcomes of treatments. So it's really important that we dig into the underlying reasons for that and to sift out where there's a justifiable reason for variation and understand why there are some places where things seem to be done really quite differently and wherever possible to try and level up and make sure that everywhere is performing at the best possible level. We see that in short-term things such as reduction of length of stay in hospital, such as um, better outcomes following surgery where we concentrate on the complication rates post-surgery. And we can also start to see that in longer-term outcomes such as people remaining free of cancer and actually people's survival figures as we start to level up and as we start to concentrate on those places which seem to be having the most difficulty with delivering their service. We're in the middle of a real data revolution in the health service. Of course, it's extraordinarily complicated data, and we have multiple different sources. We have information from primary care, we have information from hospital systems, we have specific cancer registration data, which is the real gold standard for us in the cancer field. And trying to make sure that we bring these things together, make the best possible use of all the different sources, uh, and do that in a timely way so that we've got something close to real-time data so that we can see the effects of what we do not just five years down the line but in a year or two and that's really important for how we manage and organise the system. It's really important that we make the best possible use and understand what happens to people, the different ways that we look after them and how that works out in real life because it's only by scrutinising that and by paying attention to that that we can continue to improve. We can work out where things aren't going as well as they should be and put in the measures to improve them and work out how we level everybody up to the best possible practice.